I kind of came into the program knowing I wanted to follow a pediatric path, um, but trying to keep an open mind throughout, you know, like I got to make sure I'm learning everything, not just going so far down this pediatric path. But a really cool thing that this class offered was that it allowed me to dive deeper into pediatrics and something that I was really looking forward to from even starting the program was doing that and it followed our two pediatric courses that we had earlier in the program. So it kind of did a really good job of building on a, a lot of these big topics like family collaboration and learning how to empower people with mobility as a human right and how that connects to increasing cognitive abilities and all of that. So having that in the sequential order of like we took our pediatric coursework and then we were able to participate in this build really helped elevate that experience for this class for me. Yeah, I mean, building off of Anissa, I completely agree with what she said. I also came into PT being interested in working with kids. I was a tennis coach for a really long time and I've continued to do that through grad school. But I think that this class in particular did build off of the two pediatric courses we already had um, and allowed us to collaborate also with other team members to kind of build off of, we had like a knowledge base at that point of like pediatrics as a whole. And now we're kind of delving in deeper to kind of what we can do in the clinic, how we can support um, our patients, but also how we can think about like things like powered mobility, which I think are such a big part of what we might do in the clinic um, that we really didn't get as much of time to do in our set pediatric courses. Mm -hmm. I was pretty intimidated by kind of the engineering side of things. I didn't really have that background at all, but I feel like it became a pretty seamless thing as we got to interact with students from other disciplines too. So I feel like in particular, I learned a lot from the engineering student who was on my team. We also had a Foundry 10 member on our team for part of it, like kind of having the combination of the two disciplines and also seeing how that, like Anissa said, would play out in real time. I feel like that was a really unique experience too, especially preparing us well to go out into the clinic and be physical therapists in that setting. Collaborating with, I think mine was a second year mechanical engineering student as well, and just seeing what she was being uh, able to bring to the table, when we, especially when we did the electrical build day, I was like, my knowledge was off the table. Like I didn't know what I was doing, so it was really helpful to have her be able there and be like, okay, this is actually what this connection, or this instruction, what this means for our builds. And then the next day, when we did the structural modifications, obviously it was a lot more like handiwork as well, but like being able to come with that, um, through that with um, our physical therapy mindset and like how to help with the postural control and stuff and then having us help them a little bit more and having that back and forth between the two days was a really cool interplay between the two. So for my particular kiddo, it was, there was like a five point harness because they needed kind of maximal proximal or postural control. And so we had a harness and then you, but you can also use like a seat belt or a chest strap or um, also some side supports too, if they kind of have trouble like lateral deviations. So there were kind of a lot of different pieces, but also a lot of it happened, which was cool, like real time. We had kind of built those things in, but then you had to test it and see if the kiddo, if that worked for them. If it didn't, then we made some modifications on the fly too. These cars are typically run or like activated by a foot switch. So kind of like a pedal that you would not use in like a car that you'd see driving on the road. So that's what they're designed after. But for these kiddos to be able to use this, they don't have the control either. They like aren't tall enough to reach or like they just don't have that coordination to be able to activate the car using a foot pedal. So to make it accessible to them, they have, they rewire. And that's what the, the electrical day is all about is rewiring. So this button is, or like switch is being able to activate the car instead of the foot pedal. So it's very easy to press. It doesn't take a lot of like force or anything. It's pretty sensitive. So as long as the kiddo is able to reach it, they press that and that's what it makes the car go. And you can even have, like we placed a lot of them on the steering wheel, but you can even place it like behind their head or like behind an elbow to like be able to make it even more accessible to kids with di different abilities. One thing that this really helped prepare me for is coming up with these creative solutions and just doing it very simply and cheaply. Because you don't want like, families having to spend thousands of dollars on this because that's one of the biggest hurdles already with these power mobility devices. So coming up with really simple things like utilizing pool noodles or like Velcro and tape and all these things 
even like paper towel rolls, stuff like that can really go a long way in helping somebody use a device longer or make it fit them more customizable um, without having to do so much work to it. What we did was like not that complicated. Like the stuff like if you like in the car behind us, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that we did was like PVC pipes and like pool noodles and a bunch of like tape and zip ties. Like it wasn't like we were using some crazy woodworking or really that crazy of a structural concept. It was like very simple ideas that we were able to put together within a couple hours that really made a big difference for these kiddos in using this car. One thing for me is we've kind of been told and talked about in our pediatrics classes about like mobility as a human right. And I feel like for me, like it definitely connected, but I think also like getting to see it in real time with families and getting to talk to them and really get a sense of like the impact that this is making on their life and their kiddos life and their ability to have independent mobility, I think is so important. 